Welcome back to the channel folks, Josh here with Angling Outings and if this is your first time here, welcome. Today's video is a little bit different. We have had surgery just a few weeks ago, taking a piggy off of the lower extremity of my body, which is enabling me to have a cane for balance and to relieve pressure off the right side of my body. So today's video is about how you can go fishing when you are partially handicapped or temporarily partially handicapped like I am currently so this video is for you let's see what we can do when you can't be climbing up and down rocks and all kinds of stuff so let's take a look and see what happens this is going to be interesting These docks and marinas is a good place to come if you're handicapped, slightly handicapped, if you need a cane for balance, if you had surgery like myself and you know, it's just hard to get around. Uh, a lot of these marinas will have handicapped areas. And if you're in a wheelchair, there's sometimes uh, wheelchair uh, designated areas where you can push your wheelchair up to it. You can come down to the docks and, and fish. We go right there. Oh, I was not expecting him to hit right there. <clears throat> Hold on there. Hold still. Hold still. I'll let you go. I'll let you go. I didn't bring no pliers. Hold on now. Mm. Hold on now. Okay, there. A nice little fish. Nice little white bass. Let's let him go. Well, we found him. Now, see here, if I knew these people, I could ask them to use this chair to sit here. There we go. Look at that, folks. Little one. Come on, focus in. There we go, got that focused in. It's a little one, but hey, it's a fish. Got a couple of them up there off them rocks. All right. Got this nice little white bass. I 
right there. Come on, let go of it. Let go of the grub. A little bit more. There we go. Look at that. What we're using is this little spoon. Got a bunch of different kinds and sizes and colors off of Amazon. This one right here is like a gold with a silver, a little red spot on it with an eyeball. I replaced out the treble hook with a single hook. I think this here is a size six. And put a little two inch grub on there. Three inch grub would be better for the size of the hook, but yeah, it's what we had. And who's to say Amazon baits ain't that ain't that great? Oops. Didn't mean to cut that cast off short. Okay. Bad cast don't mean it's unproductive. Just drop that booger back down there and Alright, alright. Hyperactivity. Come on now. Another little large mouth. Remind me to get my pliers next time I come down here with this spoon. There we go. Little fish. Get on down there. <laughs> they is eating this up. Should we go for four in a row? Not four in a row. Probably didn't work it down there deep enough. There we go. Ah, oh, I had a bite on it. Something hit it. Probably a little bluegill. Bluegill's up in here too. There he is. Golly. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Another white bass. Come on up here, buddy. So I don't want that spoon near as much as I thought I did. See how them eagle claw hooks are? They'll grab a hold and won't let go. Mm -mm. Here's another. This one's a nice pullet right there. Ooh. The white bass are running. Mm-hmm. Well, the fish has torn our grub up. We're gonna take that off. Well, we've got a few fish on this spoon um, out here on the docks. Uh, with the help of our cane. So, you know, if you're slightly disabled, you know, you need a cane for balance or something. There ain't no reason why you can't go fishing. Uh, so, did a little, got had a little luck with, uh, with this spoon and grub on here. So, 
you know, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, and if you'd like to see any more content like this, we're going to go into more in-depth with spoons and all kinds of stuff. And especially the Amazon products, um, which are really good. Smash that subscribe button down there in the corner and leave a message. Let us know what you think. So, until next time, I'm Josh. You've been watching Angling Outings. Now get on out there and go fishing.